Harry blasted outrage by judges against misinformation in media hypocritical in his stance. Judge Robert Rinder questioned why the royal signed a deal with Netflix knowing that its show The Crown misinforms viewers about Princess Diana. Judge Robert Rinder suggested that Prince Harry is being hypocritical in his stance against tabloid stories when he himself has remained mum on concerns regarding the portrayal of Princess Diana in The Crown. The barrister joined Susanna Reid on Wednesday's episode of Good Morning Britain where they touched on the royal's recent statements about the harmful effects of misinformation in the media. The Duke of Sussex had blasted the UK media for allegedly painting his mother in a pathetic light. He also vowed to protect his wife Meghan Markle from the same self-manufactured rabidness that affected Princess Diana. However, Judge Rinder hit out at the Duke of Sussex and called out his practice of double standards. He questioned why he and the Duchess of Sussex agreed to sign a multi-million dollar deal with Netflix when its show, The Crown, portrayed the late Princess of Wales in a weak manner. I like Meghan and Harry, but what I don't understand is if Harry is worried about misinformation, what about the fact that he and Meghan have taken a huge deal from Netflix, and the misinformation about their late mother Lady Diana. They have taken millions of pounds for this, he said adding, how is that okay? How is that consistent and not misinformation? The 37-year-old has remained publicly silent on issues regarding the portrayal of Princess Diana in the series. Unlike his brother Prince William, who has since expressed his dismay and said he is appalled by its depiction of their mother. The only time the Duke of Sussex publicly talked about the show was during his interview with James Corden in February. He had said that the show is loosely based on the truth, he said he is way more comfortable with the series than the tabloids writing fake stories about him and Meghan Markle. Judge Rindle is not the only one raising concerns about Prince Harry's deal with Netflix. Royal biographer Angela Levin also challenged the Duke to cut ties with the streaming giant for the sake of Princess Diana. She questioned if money is more important to him than protecting his mother's legacy. Meghan Markle has recently spoken out on the issue of paid parental leave in the US, but should the Duchess of Sussex be free to intervene while using her royal title? Express.co.uk readers can vote in our poll below. And let us know more about what you think in the comments section. Our poll comes after Meghan, who is living in California with Prince Harry after quitting royal duties, last month wrote to members of the Congress and Senate calling for paid leave for new parents in America. The Duchess said she was writing the letter to House of Representatives Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Charles Schumer as a mom and on behalf of millions of American families. The former Suits actress signed off the note as Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. And earlier this month, Meghan phoned Republican Senator Susan Collins of Maine and West Virginia's Shelley Moore Capito last week to advocate for paid family leave. Senator Collins told Politico, much to my surprise, she called me on my private line and she introduced herself as the Duchess of Sussex, which is kind of ironic. The US is the only wealthy nation offering no national paid parental leave program. However Meghan has sparked accusations she is using her royal title to interfere in American politics. Members of the royal family traditionally do not become involved in politics. The Sunday Times cited a palisade as saying the Duchess was using her title out of context with the move, while another described the intervention as outrageous. A source close to Meghan told the newspaper she contacted members of Congress in her personal capacity as an engaged citizen in her personal